Okay. It's the late afternoon version of the VSC. 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 <laughs> afternoon. Oh, and... you almost said morning. <laughs> I know. Oh, no. Hello. Look. Welcome. We're matchy matchy. This is our See? afternoon, like, sh inside shopper mess. Welcome to the virtual shopping channel, the most dangerous day of the week. Sorry, we're oh, late. Oh, the sun drag inside shop. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, we're late. If you follow us on, oh, I'm stuck. Yeah, okay. If you follow us on social media, we put up a little like, hey, watch out. There might be bad weather. We might be late. And um, there was bad weather, but the roads were okay. But we still took our time coming in. Um, better your, safe than sorry. Your hat and everything matches so nice, and we put up so much yarn, people can't see your lovely skirts. Can I force you to get up? Well, stand up. I'm Rebecca. <laughs> I'm the owner of Sun Dragon Art and Fiber in Getting Dark and Kind of Rainy, downtown Brevard, North Carolina. I'm Liz. I'm the minion. Here. Look at the cute dress. It's so cute. This is this is my favorite part of this dress, and okay. I don't know how many people have seen that. It's snowmen. <laughs> playing in the snow with a little deer with deer it's like and stuff it was christmas fabric but there is nothing on here that says christmas it's all birds but it's, and but it's snowshoes it's red and, 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 it's and red and, yeah so it i wear it whenever there's it winter flannel? it is flannel okay it looks warm it is i wear it whenever there's winter precipitation we took down the tent right <laughs> right before we did this and i was really cold and she's fine at least my acting arms like were slightly like, chilly. I wore my faux fur yeah. cape and mm -hmm. my flannel and silk skirts and Oh, by the way, speaking of the faux fur, we may or may not be trying to get a replacement for that. So stay tuned. Stay tuned because maybe you can get some and make something like what she made. It won't be the same because what we made it out of is Cascade yarn that was discontinued. However, we might be able to get an equivalent. That and I want to make another one. So... <laughs> And I have no idea where my sample, my like one skein of it made a little muff um, cowl thing. It was adorable. And everyone was like, oh my God, it's amazing. And I said, it's knit. And they went, what? And I don't even know where it went. But, but since it's in the discontinued yarn, I might have to make myself another one out of the new yarn that has crazy colors. I, I think I think so. Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. you know, of course, I might not have my cape done until next year, but <laughs> at least I'll have another way. Hey, next year's not far away. No. We never introduced <laughs> ourselves, did we? Yes, we did. Oh, you we were did. standing up and showing off That's your skirts. Right. That's right. It's the end of the day, so we're a little tired. So we might mess up a little more than usual. <laughs> I can tell by the light. I can tell by the lighting on us right now. Yeah. Like part of it's because it's overcast, and part of it's because the sun's going away. Yeah. It's a little bit funky blue light in here right now, but um, so but we promised a VSC. We shall deliver. Uh, so we're doing it after Some the rain shops, and folks. sleet and snow and right. And I showed except up except vacation. <laughs> we can't fall apart. Um, I showed up tired, and then we had a slow day, so I'm really tired right now. So we we got a lot of time. Yeah. Okay. I got all the pictures of what I'm going to show you and the labels and everything. So when I go home and upload this, it'll be ready to go. What, what? I forgot. See. Oh, she organized. So the yarn, one of the yarns we're talking about is on the twisty and can be hanging. Whoa, too far. No. Laminates. Oh, I, I planned I just... it so it could be in our background. <laughs> and then I looked at our background and went, oh, oops. Yeah. At least you looked at our background. <laughs> well, sometimes I do. So the llama lace um, is a little bit misleading in its title in that it, it sounds like it's a lace weight. And that's teeny tiny for people who are still learning their weights of yarn, their thicknesses of yarn. That is like, like poof, it blows away almost. Almost, that's cobweb, but you know. Um, lace yarn is really thin. Um, but you know, it sounds cool, the name llama lace. It's a fingering weight, really. Um, I can't remember if I've made something else out of this. I, I, I have. have. I. She's got something. Well, um, I incorporated it. As 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 you all may recall, if you were watching yesterday, 
I am starting this cowl out of llama lace. And this is the luscious color called, um, was it Rose Garden? Rose, oh no, that was the sound it, of my hook it, going It somewhere. is red velvet. Red, oh, I knew it was a red or an R. Um, I don't, we'll find, we'll, it <laughs> we'll have to find it later because, oh, I see it. Okay, I heard it. This is us in rare form. Typical everyday life. Yes, I found my hook. It's teeny tiny, it's a D. So. What size knitting needle would it be? Um, that's a good question. It's a 3.25. That's a... Uh, it should say on there, it should say D and then a number. Look at her being all fancy pantsy. Fancy. Like these are my favorite ones. It's a D3, so it's the same so as a US3. The three knitting needle shouldn't exist. But it does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, the pattern called for an E, but I'm doing it on a D because I'm a loose crochet. Should be my trademark. Um, but this oh, is so pretty. I'm so excited. And I must have a color that I like. I try to make, I try to like pick different colors to make things in the shop out of. But look, this goes with what I'm wearing. Half the time someone comes into the shop, it goes with what they're wearing. And I've been doing that a lot lately and not intending to, but oh well. Yes, and you've been patiently waiting. When, when I made my butter beer, mm -hmm. the what looks black on camera. This is an example of what of colors don't show up yeah. perfectly on camera. It's at almost a royal purple. It's Pinot Noir. It's this one. Yeah. That gives you an idea of the color. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then because I really wanted a pop of color. Oh, you put the marigold in there. I didn't put you? the marigold in there, which is this color, which is that. It's like a grello. It looks yeah. a little bit brighter. Oh, on you can see it on the bottom. Oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah, my, yeah. My pods in the grello. So, um, yeah, I was like, ooh, and we got that back in. So now, mm -hmm. you know, but I mixed it. I used it as my main color, contrasting color. Whatever the color in between the pots is. Contrasting color. Contrasting color. Mm -hmm. of my, my Main color is the one that takes up more space. Okay. At least on this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we work, we hadn't ordered this in a very long time. And it's another one of those yarns that we discovered. Some of the colors we can't reorder anymore. Shocker. Because it's like we talk about the nail polish color you find and then you can't get it again. Happens with yarn more often than you would think. So, because, ooh, let's redesign colors mm. and take away colors that are staples and seem to work perfectly well. But what if we made some new ones? So we just got in some new colors. We have some old favorites that we won't be able to reorder. There are some, both the yarns we're going to talk about today are camelids and have some undyed colors and some dyed colors and undyed will always be softer. You add dye, it can make things not quite as soft, but still really soft. Llama, and the other one we're going to talk about is alpaca. The camelids, think of the guys with the long necks, the animals with the long necks. Um, there are the reasons they're called camelids, but I'm just making crap up now. Well, they belong to the camel family. Yes. Like they're I know. cousins to camel I know. Camels. And I'm thinking about the camels having the long necks, but that's not, you know. Anyway, um, you're getting messages. No, I'm getting told to move. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to. Um, but when you add dye, it's not quite as soft, but it's still soft. Like this is so lusciously soft to work with. But like this one is probably going to be even softer because it is just as is llama, nothing added. Anyway, you're holding one. I'm you, holding you're one. Ready I can to read... talk about it? Yeah. It is a hundred percent llama. It's four hundred and twenty yards per hundred grams. So fingering weight length. They're recommending a one to a three needle. So your three hook is actually whatever. Just one. <laughs> um, hook gauge is a B to an E. I'm right in there with my B. So you're right in there. Um, hand wash, lay flat to dry. Don't chuck it in the dryer. You know, all that. Camelids, stuff. any animal fiber has a chance to felt. It may not felt as badly as wool, but it has a chance to do something nasty if you try to machine wash it. Um, I think that's all that we have. How much is it regular price? Regular price, it is $22.75. $22.75, 15% off until next Wednesday. 
and I will stand up and show off the nifty colors. Cause yes, I can help. But we have know. we have the marigold, which is my favorite green, grello, whatever in this. Um, orange. It's it, called Orangeville. Actually. Orangeville. I just took pictures of all of these, so I kind of know. But uh, this one's a new, new color. One. Viridian. Viridian. They're all heathery. I may or may not have mentioned that already, which means they they they'll have flecks of other colors in them, or they'll be a little light and dark. All over busy, kind of light and dark, not tonal, yep. but color texture. I like color texture. The Pinot Noir, it's 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 got the purple, the dark purple, but it also has flecks of like a like a raspberry, a raspberry like in it. But yeah, dark pink something. Yeah, it's uh, really really pretty. The red That's Cardinal Cardinal Sky, Sky um, which is what we have is what we have. No, we can reorder that okay. one actually. Never mind. That one's red with little flecks of purple. I'm purple stealing, or blue. I'm stealing Liz's thunder. The okay. ones I just did the research on this. The ones we cannot reorder. English Garden. It's a lovely, like muted mellow. It's greens and browns. Yeah. Um, we cannot reorder this one. I did just look that up. Of the undyed ones, we cannot reorder that one. That's black. Okay. But it's actually really dark brown. It is the deepest, darkest, bitter chocolate mm -hmm. we have instead the same thing of in um, I'm trying to remember black. that. Um, it's the um, that one, the pewter mist, which is also undyed. We cannot get the pewter mist in again. I want to say there was one other color. This one is bronzed oh, caramel. Bronze caramel, we can. They still have that okay. one. It's um, troubled waters. We can't troubled get troubled waters back in. It's, it's like more of a classic blue. It's classic. Um, so, so to replace that, we got some more new colors. We got this luscious okay. deep teal. Warium, which does not show up the right color Never on shows the up right. camera. It's that deep teal that has the fleckies of green in it. Mm -hmm. Like so many yarns have that. It's really wonderful. And this Lagoon. Just, Lagoon. It's a almost denim -y, but it has a little tint of greens mm -hmm. in it. So we got some other blues in since the troubled water. And start. then red velvet, which is There's what, the red that's velvet, the new one. Uncaked. Yeah. It's so pretty. It's really more of a, like a lavendery purple with little hints of red in it. Yeah. Or something. So, so that is the llama lace. So if you're craving something thin but floaty, like a shawl out of that would be fantastic and so soft and wonderful. And then we're going to turn to our other yarn, a little bit thicker. Do we have to read steps. Sure. If you want to you read, 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 who's steps. reading steps? I'll read steps. She's so good at reading steps. Grab one. Pure or, well. They're the same. Okay. So what she's asking is, so like, which one? Pure or eco? I, I have eco. an eco and a pure, yes. so we'll compare. So eco, we have them under one listing, but see, this one says eco, and this one says pure. Eco is the undyed, and pure is the dyed. And in the pictures I put online, I labeled the eco ones as eco, and the other ones just have numbers. But you can tell, this is not a color found in nature on an alpaca. It'd be really cool. It would be really cool. So give us some stats. Um, they're all the same stats. So I oh, will, yeah. will just tell you for 100 grams, you get 220 yards. Which is the same yardage as like Cascade 220 or 220 Superwash. Um, it's considered, they'll call it a worsted. It could be used for DK patterns as well. Yeah. It's a thin worsted. The yardage is a worsted though. Yeah. So. Um, they're recommending a US 6 to a 7 for needles. On the label, 6 to 7, if you go on Cascade's website, they have settled on a 7, which again puts it in the worsted category. But the labels you say can. you can use a 6, which yep. is a DK. Yep. Uh, hand wash, lay flat. Um, we are retailing both of them for $20.95. Um, is that all? I, that's all that I'm they done? wrote what? on the back. <laughs> oh, hold on. 100% baby alpaca, 100% undyed baby alpaca. Yes. For the eco. Mm -hmm. Now, baby alpaca usually refers to the first shearing of the alpaca, kind of. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that they grabbed little babies and took their fur or their hair or whatever. I think it usually refers to that first shearing is the baby stuff and it's, it's extra fine. So it's just softer. Yeah. I could be talking on my butt though. But I believe I've heard that somewhere. So, you know, call me on it if you know otherwise. So, what What are you doing? You look like you're healthy. Yeah. I was so excited. We got the charcoal back in. 
we've been out of that for a while because ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, look, and the label from, from last summer, because I don't remember what it is. Um, this is a one skein hat. It's called the pikey hat made out of the charcoal. And again, since it's undyed charcoal, it's a little bit, it, it's so soft. It's a little bit um, of a warm charcoal. Like it's, it's not quite a brown, but it's not a super cool charcoal. Charcoal is a classic color, but this is a cabled hat. And oh my gosh, it's so squishy and soft. It's a wonderful pattern. I wanna say, um, okay, it's not free. No seems in the label, uh, but it's only like four bucks, four or five bucks when, when I need it. But um, there's different versions of this hat you can make. This is the slightly slouchy one. I've got my little nubbies, which are gonna make it look like I have horns in the back of my head. But um, you could make this smaller or taller. And it is just, I mean, the drape is wonderful on alpaca. Um, one thing about both the llama lace and the alpaca, 100% camelid, the bigger you get with it, the more it will probably grow under its own weight. So I caution people, this is lovely. I wouldn't make a sweater out of it. So today I was putting away Cascade 220 wool. Mm -hmm. Or well, I wasn't putting away, I was stickering and chucking it in a box. Oh. And oh. the wool felt lighter same amount of yards, mm -hmm. same amount of weight, weight, but the wool just felt lighter and firmer. Like this, I'd throw it in the box and it would hang over the side of the box. The wool would just, you know, kick stand it. It was kind of The fun. wool would go and go in and this one would, would just go, go softer. Softer. A little heavier softer. In, in the feel. Yeah. 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 Um, again, wonderful drape, but if you make a sweater out of it, it will become longer with time and make a crop get a tunic <laughs> hats scarves smaller items are fantastic at this so <clears throat> um so let's let's do the un, the the eco first so okay. she's got the charcoal um this is the natural so it's white but it's not going to be white 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 the only way to do that is to bleach it which will not be as soft my system says I have four of these and I can lay eyes on two. If I can't lay eyes on the other two anytime soon from like post quarantine or something, I'll have to change the inventory and try to order more. But so know that. Okay. We have wait, some. Wait, 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 oh. wait, wait. Wait. Um, she wants to show off the twisties. I really love the I twisties, like the twisties. But I want to go through the rest of the, the eco egos first. Well, they're, um, they're eco. They're brown. I'm being systematic here. Come on. That is not brown, that is mocha. This is brown. It's called mocha, but it's brown. <laughs> it's a medium brown. Yes. <laughs> this it's is- It's been a long day. <laughs> for most of it, only each other for company. So we can really just nerds a little bit. No, not really. Um, this, is, this is called black, but um, it's bitter chocolate. It's it's dark, dark, dark brown. You can kind of tell that when we get really close to the camera. Um, but there were, again, again, a natural black in a camelid is going to be brown. It's going to be the darkest, bitterest brown you've got. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. It's actually darker than the llama lace black. Just by Just hair. by, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Experiments. Okay, so this one, what do you think this one's called, this? Silver, gray. <laughs> um. This is indeed a light gray, a warm light gray. They are calling it oatmeal. It's if cool. I if I had oatmeal this color, I don't know if I'd eat it. But I would make a hat out of this, no problem. And I'd probably just call it gray. But on our system, it will be called oatmeal because that's what Cascade calls it. Okay. The twists. Okay, these are marled, marled wonderful. They're like three strands of color twisted together. Because of that, they can be a little splittier than the regular twisted yarn. Stitch definition, like probably it's so soft. It'll it'll all mingle together. So like, yeah. Stockinette, it'll be fine. Garter, it'll There's be fine. There's one color but... we're out of that I thought they didn't make anymore that they do. So I might get it back in if I can, but not before the end of the week probably. This one is black. Actually, this one looks like it's four colors. It's black, gray, brown, and cream. Never mind. Maybe it's four. Well, I was just looking at it's what it looked like. It's more than two. 
it, it's all different yeah. colors. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a lady come in to make a bunny. Yeah. And she got that one and knit up. That it looks like a bunny. Oh, it looks like a bunny color. Like it, you think it would do something else, but it just kind of all mingles. So that in. one is like the same three colors as, as this, except for instead of black, it's got like a it's medium gray. Brown, two grays, and a cream. Did like a medium gray. No, this is reed twist. Yeah. And this one is pepper twist. Like as I'm glancing at them, I really want to say maybe the only difference between them is this one has a medium gray in it like the oatmeal yeah. a little darker almost and this one has That's the black, black. and then totally this changes what it looks this like. one is silver tweed and it's like just grays only. it's like four different grays like if yeah. you mm -hmm. yeah it's really pretty so so yes okay those are the naturals and then we have all the colors um, okay, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna be systematic. I'm gonna go through these in rainbow order. Mm -hmm. Online, we have paired them in color combos that we think look divine. So this is Ruby. We were almost out of Ruby. We just got a new just batch. Just got a new batch in. It's red, but it is a deep red. Like it's deeper than the color it's showing up on camera right now. Yeah. It is a Ruby red. I think Ruby slippers and stuff when I see this. Yeah. Um, then this may look orange. But they are calling this mineral red. It's like the garnet red. Yeah, it's the, almost like a salmony yeah, rose. Yeah, but it's like a cool salmon. Yeah, yeah. Really, so hard to get true color going on with these. It's it's crazy. Um, new addition to the family just came in. Kind of maybe my favorite, even though I am not supposed to like yellow. It's growing on me because it's chalk color. You know, chalk color. This is golden heather. I have to like get this close to the camera and it's still not going to pick up. There's like little hints of goldeny orange in it. It's, it's really, really it's darker than it's showing up on yeah. the camera, but not super dark. It's really, really pretty. I was this I paired with like this really dark blue in the photos and it's so hard to get true color with you know, one of them. Ah. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. <laughs> Somebody make something out of this. Or I'll have to, and I have too many other things to make. Um, okay, the current green we have is called chive. It is a uh, almost kind of olivey green. It's hard to explain, but it's a little more like a chive, you know, kind of. I don't know. I agree or disagree? What do you think? Uh, it's a pretty green. Like pretty. it's not. You don't think olive green is pretty? Well. No, Sorry. I think, but like, I don't know how I would class that green. Like, it's not forest, but I mean, it's just a nice, rich green. It is. Okay. Then we come to the blues. Um, I'm going to save the, the fuchsia for the other end of purple because I didn't do it yet. Um, we have a lovely teal. It's going to look blue. Which doesn't screen. look teal at all. On it's so much warmer than it shows up there. Oh my gosh, that looked blue. Ah! Almost lost blue. Um, this one is azure. It is, it is teal. It is a bright, luscious teal. Take our word for it. Okay, it's one of, it, that looks a little less heathery. Some of these do, like the, the chive and the, the teal. It's harder to see the, the heather in them. Mm -hmm. Some of them you can see a lot more heather than others. Um, we have a lighter blue called, is it acai berry? Acai? Acai? Makai berries is what I, you know, like. <laughs> yeah, I hear people pronounce them all different ways. Yeah. And so it's A C A I. It is, um, it's almost like a blueberry color. Yeah. You know, not purple though. Um, then we have this dark blue, it's called night sky. It's very midnight. -y. It's midnighty. It's not quite navy, but it shows up on camera as being navy. It's a little lighter than it shows up on camera. The new addition to the family. Oh, this almost on camera. This almost looks like the, um, that Lorna's laces color. The purple. That is like, perky. oh my gosh, I'm going to, yeah, the perky color. It's not, it's not quite this intense, but it's pretty blue. Um, it's like royal blue on steroids. It's called Dazzling Blue Heather. Dazzling, right there. 
I opened it up and I went, wow, wow. that's pretty bright. Yeah, it's not quite as intense as the camera is making it out to be, but that's what happens with like reds and blues and stuff. And teal, teals are just out of whack too. Um, <clears throat> then we have blackberry. That's a very nice purple. Very, very nice. And then coming out the other side of purple, we have magenta. And this is a little more intense than the camera's. It's so weird. Some are more intense on camera and some are less intense. It's, it's just pretty. Dual tones. You cannot go wrong with dual tones if someone likes bright colors. <laughs> okay, so we have about 10 colors of the pure alpaca and I think currently about eight colors of the undone. And hopefully by the time you're watching this, it will all be live and in the right category to save your 15%. Now, the moment that some of you have been waiting for. Or not. Well, I was, I was told that not everybody knew about them because, you know. Okay, the baskets. Everyone want us to... <laughs> <laughs> Are we a little punch tired here? Nope. <laughs> okay, so the baskets, people on social media are like, oh my gosh. Because I, I I got the African market baskets in. They're all smaller sized. And I posted online, look, I'm making baskets. Because they come all squished inside out and flat and like, like crumpled. So they can fit in shipping boxes. And... um. I just wanted to show, like, I take get them at my house. I receive them at my house so I can shape them back up again. And I was like, this will make a fun social media post. And in the social media post, I said, I don't know if I can list these online because they're hard to ship. They 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 take up too much space to fit in most boxes unless I deflate them again, unless I squish them as flat as I can again. Unless you're ordering a lot of yarn to fill them up. And yeah. I... I have ways of squishing yarn. Ask Cheryl. Shout out to Cheryl. Shout out to Cheryl. Um, and and but I I said I said explicitly in there. I'm not sure if you can list them online. And then all these people went, Oh my gosh! Tell me when you can list them online. I really want them. What? And now we'll see if that actually holds up, because I have listed them online. <laughs> Just the new ones. Just the new. We ones. have okay. So let us tell you what we're talking about. Um, Oh, look, there's one by my, the butt of my chair. Um, African Market Baskets is the company. These are, you, you can get these from lots of different companies, but these are fair trade from ladies in Ghana who make them. And every time we get them, it is, um, it's, I, I, I joke, it's like Christmas. We never know what patterns you never and know styles. And look at the bottom. Look at that. Look at that. It's so fun. It's We're only, yeah, yours, yours is, yours is not, some of them are like crazy fun. And the pictures I took, you can't tell which ones have the fun bottoms and which ones don't. That's the thing is I tried to itemize these as much as possible. I took pictures from the side on. So you got to pick the one and see if it's available. And here's my disclaimer on these. So again, yeah, these are fair trade from Ghana. They are wonderful. The bigger ones can hold tons of yarn and, and don't feel like you're weighed down. They're super functional. Since they're made from African grass, the way that I shape them up is I just put them in the sink and I spray the inside and out with a little hose and let it drain, let them soak a little bit, not for very long. And then um, it, I go, whoop, and then I roll it on the table to like get it into the right shape, shape it up, let it dry. So, um, so we're going to be doing the reverse of that. We're going to have to retro engineer that reverse engineer that process. If you actually want to buy this and not pick it up at the shop, we're going to have to, um, floop them back down. So the, so the bottom of this will be up here so we can maybe still get it in a box and send it to you. And that means getting it wet again, flooping it down, letting it dry <laughs> and then shipping it to you. So if you want one of these for Christmas and you're not local, I don't think that's going to work, but, but if you want one, if you're dying to get one of these, we will do everything we can to get you one of these. It's going to be a, a insert bad word here to do that. But if you really, really want one of these, um, I've added a new shipping category 
for larger items. We needed to do this for other things anyway. It's not gonna like force you to pick it, but for things like this or swifts and winders and um, and blocking, blocking pads. pads, like we sent a, sent a winder to someone and it cost 30 bucks to send it, but we have flat rate $5 shipping right now. So we're asking if you want a basket or if you want one of those bigger items, if you could on checkout, please select, we're not gonna force you to, but we're gonna ask you to select um, shipping for larger items. That'll be a category and well, it'll raise the shipping to $10. It's still probably not what it's gonna cost us to send, but um, it's gonna help defray our costs just a little bit. So that's a new option to pick when you're shipping and we would like you to pick it if you're shipping bulky items. And it's like heavy, sometimes heavy, but bulky items like this. So we get off my soapbox about that. Anyway, baskets. Um, baskets. We have bigger than this. I might show some off. So we only have the new stuff up. So let's go through the new stuff first. If I can get the old stuff up online, because I shout out to Shia, I know she wants one of those big baskets. I got to work. We worked all day to get all this up online. And that was with we, no crowds, no bikes. I put yarn away. But that's important too, right? Poor we, Carol, she had to walk around the register because I was sitting on the floor stickering yarn still. Cheryl, uh, Carol had an indoor appointment. Yeah, and she had to go behind the messy register back, you know, where usually nobody goes except us. It looked like a box of yarn exploded. And people who've been in the shop, you know how big the shop is. There was only one way to get from one side to the other. So, um, okay, so the new stuff we have, we got four of each of these currently. What These are have? the large minis. We have four different baskets. We, we have, just pulled one out of We each. have minis and we have large minis. And here's the thing, since these are handmade, they will be different sizes. We cannot guarantee exactly what size you're going to get or shape. Or, these are the well, rounds. Right? You, you have pictures of each color yeah. that we have online. Mm -hmm. but, individual. Yes. Yeah. But the minis and the large, large minis, which sounds like an oxymoron, but it's not. Um, the large minis in theory are a little bit bigger, just a little bit. Like when you, when you buy them from the site, they say that these will be six to eight inches across and those will be eight to 10, but there's no guarantee because the women are not like holding a ruler when they do this. They just have a general sense of how big they like their baskets to be and, and works of art. They're fantastic. They are so awesome. that's the large mini has a nice leather handles wrapped on them and all of these yeah. have have leather we can get them in rubber but i tend to get the leather i have gotten them in the past with no leather for people who are like oh no i saw in the, the listing as i was building these these are goat skin if you're like no um we might have some old ones that don't have leather on them but we can't keep an indefinite number in the shop so um, this one is just the mini round right if you got one of each mm -hmm. yeah this is just the mini round this is d we give them all letters. This one is D. If you want the other numbers, you're going to have to look online because we will be here till eight o'clock. And no, I was it like, is 540 she goes, we've got to pull the baskets. <laughs> and I'm show like, them all off. No. One of each because it, it'll take us. You know forever. me, I will do my best with the photos and the colors and everything and you'll get the best sense you can. So these are the round ones. These are small versions of their large round ones, which we do have in the shop. We use them to haul yarn outside to customers and to store yarn in the shop, but they're all for sale. So I will try to get up pictures. They may be pictures with stuff still inside them. The stuff does not come with it. Okay, what you got? Oh, uh, these are my favorite. I have, um, this is the <laughs> natural shoulder bags, black straps. Yes, so shoulder bag, it's, it's like a purse. It's like a purse that's a deep empty pit. There's no pockets, there's no, there's no dividers. It's got this, this really cute thing with the tassel that you can hook and together. on the other side is a little nubby and it's adjustable yeah it's adjustable that you can close it or open it and that's the thing if you want to reshape these some of the basket the, the more oval ones we're about to show off um you can when you i don't know if we're going to be able to compress these these tend, tend to come all jammed inside each other like an accordion type thing or like a like a russian nesting doll um so i don't know if i can flatten them at all but i might i round out the sides but and you, so you can shape how full or how flat it is when you get it but I might have to make it a little more flat to ship it. So um, these are the, the shopping totes, the mini shopping totes. But this is a really great example. 
these are technically in the same size category, but this one's much bigger. You just have no guarantee. If you're here at the shop, you can try them all out. But if you're not, like- we, We've had people buy those, the, the smaller ones for like kids' lunch baskets. Mm -hmm. Actually, it lists that yeah. online too, yeah. which is cool. It's weird that you said that because that's in the listing online and I, what? <laughs> um, these sale. are the natural ones. We have three that are like this. We have one that has open work right here. And you didn't bring that one over and that was I probably smart. didn't because, you know, that one's, that one's like that one's like gorgeous it's a little smaller than this but it's got the open weaving here it's really pretty i can show you a big one with open weaving in just a second it's not online yet these are the only ones right now that are online and i'll take um but some people don't like the fancy colors functional beautiful a big because of the natural grass fiber there are different tones in here though it's mm -hmm. still really really pretty they're really gorgeous um and then this is one of the pattern ones like i said this one's a lot bigger but it's the same price. Same thing with like, you could order one of the other ones that's online. And when it arrives to you, the totes have two handles, by the way. Ta -da. But when it arrives, it might, you might be like, that's smaller than the one she was holding on camera. There's no guarantee. There's a rough idea. And then some ladies, I think, just go, go to town and it comes out bigger. But this structuring on the sides makes them, um, they're more intricate. I don't think we've said prices on any of these. We have not. Okay, so let's let's go back through them and I'll grab a couple other things we could show off to you that are not online yet that we'll get up if we can. Um, the shopping totes, both the natural and this, so even though those were different sizes, they're both the same price. They are $44.75. The large mini baskets regular price, are $36.75. Okay. Regular price. The, the mini minis, the regular minis, $29.75. The large Percy things um, <laughs> are $59.75. Oh, look, here's a basket full of yarn behind me. Here's the large size. I think this one's the large size. There used to be mediums. I don't think they make the mediums anymore, but we might still have some in the shop. Let's see. This is a large round. I cannot guarantee this price will stay the same. This is the old price. When we order new baskets, they may have different prices. This one is marked at $37.95. Now, I can't well, that's, guarantee. That's a different price from the large round that I have here. Yeah, what do you have? I have $39.95. I think $39.95 is the price. Like, this has an old sticker on it. So $39.95 is what I think we should go with. Um, sorry, get hot. Whew. Because okay. I think we can only put one price on there. $39.95. I mean, it's only a couple dollars difference. And if I can get them up soon you can do the 25 the the 50 15 percent my mind is going out my ears so um these are the large ones they are fantastic and, and like i said they're all different and we have a bunch of them all over the shop we 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 use have them. them everywhere and oh my gosh they are great for but we will sell them. they're great for putting and um, that's always <laughs> been the deal at the yeah. shop people will come in and go oh i like that basket but you have stuff in it it's like we'll dump the stuff out yep because we're selling this baskets is, too we just use them i think we have mo most of what we have doesn't have the open this is the open work this is what the open work looks like this is a big tote though right see the giant size of this we have a small one that's got this lovely pattern work i found this back behind the sale stuff because we had yarn stored in it and we forgot about it <laughs> not it's not a thing if we can get it up online it says 56.50 on the price tag for the large shopping tote Hang on. Liz, Liz wasn't expecting me to do this. I told her it was going to take forever to gather all the baskets, and she said, I Yay! I'm showing off my two more things. It's now a quarter to six, and it's dark. So, so we did our 45 minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two more things. Okay. And these, again, the big ones are not online. They will not get online tonight. We have these oval ones. Look, there's lovely encore in this. We have these oval shaped. Look at that. Ta -da! Um, and then this is what the shopping totes look like that don't have. They're like giant versions of the mini shopping totes. Imagine that. Um, we have a couple more of these. The leather probably needs a little bit of work on these, but leather is leather. It'll, it'll shine up nice. Um, this is $44.50 currently. If we end up having to reorder these because you love them and you buy them, 
they may be a different price next time we get them in because cost, the shipping had and costs and everything has gone up. But isn't that pretty? Really like these. We have like three of these left. We have a bunch of these left. We kept ordering them to stick yarn in. We needed we did we needed pretty storage spaces over at the old shop. Especially. And now we just use boxes. Mm -hmm. um, the shoulder bags. We we still have some up front for the shoulder bags, but they have been a little they're a little sun weary. So we may or may not put those online. I hadn't reordered them though, but they're, they're they those can be gorgeous. But I ordered just some neutral and small things mm -hmm. and things that would be easy to display and maybe not get us sun weary, not thinking we were going to put them online. And then everybody wanted them online. So she bowed to peer pressure. We'll see how this goes. If we sell a bunch of these and they are just a pain in the you know what to ship, we may not be able to keep offering them online. But, but, but we'll try for y'all. We love y'all. We would like you to have gorgeous baskets. She did so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> That's fancy talk for maybe. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. That's fancy talk for if I have to figure out how to ship them, which I'm happy to do. You might get to answer the door more. <laughs> I already <laughs> kind of do. I know. It's true. It's not okay. Never mind. Um, anyway, we should probably go so we get home and it's not... I don't think it's freezing out like the roads won't be frozen. They might freeze overnight. Like I rescheduled a lesson this morning because we thought the roads would be icy this morning. And now we're getting warnings about the roads icing up tonight. And my lesson's supposed to be tomorrow. But like, we'll, 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 we'll work it. Yeah, we'll be fine. Um, but thank you all because we had some people who were like, be safe. And they were concerned about us and all that kind of stuff. And we're OK. We kind, we kind of know. <laughs> We kind of know how to navigate the roads around here, kind of. Take your time, but don't stop on a hill. You know, that's wisdom from up north. Anyway, um, we love you all. Thank you for waiting patiently for this episode. And um, yeah. we should go through our week because there's stuff coming up that we need to mention. Yes, oh, you're right. So I keep her own. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think she'd go away. And that's a good thing. So, <laughs> okay. Um, go through our week. I can, but then you wouldn't eat. No one would answer the door or the phone. And, you know. The shop wouldn't function because I'd be curled up on a ball on the floor going, why am I so hungry and cold? <laughs> and why are people knocking on the door? <laughs> um, okay. So, Tonight, I'm going to go home and finish all this and go to sleep. And tomorrow, um, I don't know if we have any Dear Becky and Lizzie I, I We have not gotten any, but we'll figure we something out. We will figure out something to talk about. Yeah. Because if y'all know us, you know we can talk about lots of crap. Anyway, if you um, if you want to have us talk about something, here's, oh, here's the deal. A week from today is our last day in the shop for until after the new year's so if you nope. want are we taking new year's eve or christmas eve off a week from today is our last day working here we're not working on christmas eve like we've done every other year christmas eve is the 24th yeah my calendar is different than yours huh how was your calendar i, had, I swear unless i must have been looking at the wrong year i, I December 24th I just is pulled, Thursday. I just pulled my teacher voice on Liz. Because <laughs> I swear the last time I looked at, at I must have been in the wrong month because I saw the 24th as, as next Wednesday. I can't now. It's been a long day. It's sad totally, that I am. <laughs> I totally just used my teacher voice on you. Why did I? Why did I, I swear something I looked at had the 24th. You've been off on this for a long time because I'm like, it's Friday is the 25th. And you're like, Christmas is Friday. It's the twenty fifth, and I'm like, yeah, Christmas is the twenty fifth. I don't even remember having that conversation. Like, um, it's been several moments. I really seriously thought next Wednesday was the twenty fourth. Never mind. Okay, scratch the comment. I was, I was about to say the last dear Becky and Lizzie is going to be tomorrow. No, we're going to squeeze one more in next week. But now I'm like, what was I looking at? I don't. Know. What was I looking at that said that? 
Your brain still thinks it's Mike? March. It's true. Who's trying to call me? Hang on. Someone from Georgia is trying to call me. And if it's actually one of our knitters, they should know better than to call my cell phone. And if they don't, they'll leave a message. Hello, you all. Um, so if so you, don't call my cell phone. If you want a question answered tomorrow, yes. email You me. still have a chance to write us a letter and have us answer it next week. Maybe, depending on Coastal. We've been getting letters okay. I don't know. Um, yeah. Email me. Liz. Email might be the, we love, we love, we love snail mail. I'm totally cutting her off. All the time. Um, I've gotten lots of fingers today. It's been a good day. She's got wimpy <laughs> fingers because I've been tired. But, um, okay. So what I was going to say, because in cutting her off and then let you get back to what you're going to say. Okay. Um, it, we usually love the snail mail and the cards and everything because they're so cute. But if you want something answered before the New Year's, you have tomorrow and you have next week. And we don't know what the postal system is going to be doing. So you might want to email. Liz at sendragonartandfiber.com. Okay. That, that was fast. If thought. you want a snail mail, <laughs> you can write a letter to Dear Becky and Lizzie, Sundragon Art and Fiber, 35 South Broad Street, Brevard, North Carolina, 28712. All right. And then... Friday night is our usual Zoom sit and stitch. It'll be the last sit and stitch before vacation. See, that's the last one. There you go. Uh, because because as we have mentioned and gotten the dates wrong on the days of the week, not the date. So. <laughs> just just mock the Liz time. Yeah. <laughs> I deserve it. It's okay. <laughs> Um, I wake up every day and go, what day is today? I don't know. March. Okay. Yes. So um, when is that joke going to get old? I hope never. Never. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to, well, it's, pretty soon it's going to have to become what day, it's March 2020 because this is going to go on forever. Okay. Um, so. Friday the 18th. Last. Nope. Go ahead. Last sit and stitch. Mm -hmm. And then you were going to say something about that sit and stitch? No, I was going to say something about the days were off. I'll hang on to it. Um, okay, the sit and stitch is 6 to 9 p.m. Eastern time on Zoom. And if you just want to go on Zoom and hit join a meeting, you're going to put in <coughs> the shop phone number, which is 828-877-3550. And if, you, if you're like, I what? I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. We'll have a link in the description for this video, or you can find the link on our social media posts for Sit and Stitch, where all you have to do is click that link or copy and paste the, the full HTML link and you'll still get in. But it will we'll only let you in from the weight room during that time. If you click it on another random time, it's not gonna work because nobody's there opening a magic portal to let you in. So six to nine. The 19th, which is a Saturday. See, I knew that. I just couldn't math what the days happen <laughs> after the Saturday. I assumed it made sense and it didn't. The 19th is our Saturday afternoon dual platform Facebook Live and Zoom sit and stitch afternoon. Same phone number as Friday night. If you're going on Zoom. If you're going on Zoom. Mm -hmm. I'll be on Zoom. She's on Facebook all by her own because I'm on both. I have I have two things pointing at me, and one yes. is Zoom and one is Facebook. Um, because yeah, Facebook we don't put people on Zoom on Facebook because that's kind of invasion of privacy kind of thing. Um, and we're we're not filming in the same place because COVID. Yeah. So she is the face we'll on this, Facebook. We'll do this for a half an hour. We won't do this for four. We have our masks on, except for this. Um. Yes. So you get to hear Liz if you join on Facebook I'm and see me. You gotta <laughs> You gotta deal with just looking at my mug and my knitting and probably my cat and his butt. <laughs> I'll be watched we'll by every time you think he's not. Yeah, well and he actually likes to sit on the computer keyboard, which means that Zoom will get him in the way a lot more than um, I do Facebook Live on my phone. So you might get a, a, a drive-by from Avi on Facebook, but he will just park himself in front, of Zoom, in front of the Zoom camera. But Facebook can be a good option if you don't like Zoom 
or um, not sure how to figure Zoom out, or if your internet connection speeds are a little wonky, um, which is a lot here in the mountains, Facebook Live will not be using up as much of your data stream because, and even on Zoom, you can join Zoom without the camera, without the upload, just the download. That tends to make it run a little better. Um, so if you want to see other people, go on Zoom. Um, if you want to hear other people and maybe connect in a way that either you're comfortable with or your internet speeds are comfortable with, tune in on Facebook Live. And the way you do that is you, um, it might come up in your feed if you follow my Facebook page, Sun Dragon Art and Fiber. Or you can go to Sun Dragon Art and Fiber's page and it should say that we're live from doing an event. And you should be able to just watch there. So that's the big, big, big thing happening before the holidays and the break. Next week's a normal filming week. And I obviously can't keep track of next week. So I'll let Liz do this. Uh, Tuesday, regular sideshow. Morning. Wednesday, BSC. Wait, wait, wait oh, but Tuesday night is um, knit night. Our last like sit and stitch knit night. Yep. Um, before our break. Yep. Wednesday. Goodbye. Wednesday is BSC. We will preview some yarns and maybe we'll try to get some stuff up on something fun. We don't know. Like break time. We. You know. Uh, the Christmas Eve. We will be here. It's a Thursday. We'll, we'll probably do some kind of morning recording. Do a Dear Becky and Lizzie, and yeah. if we have any Dear Becky and Lizzie, otherwise we'll... We'll wax poetic about something. Yeah. Um, and then... And then, this is what I was going to say earlier, but it really wasn't... Friday, okay. next week is the 25th, it's Christmas, so we will be... We're on vacation. Not here. Yes. Not filming, not sitting, stitching, yeah. not Zooming, not nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. We don't think many people would come to Zoom to sit and sit January on Christmas Day. Christmas Day. I mean, I mean, but people who, who are not celebrating Christmas, that's a totally different matter, right? But um, we're going to be doing something Christmassy with our families. So in some fashion, online or offline or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we have told you and we've tried to warn you that for our own mental health and physical health. And so the shop can keep existing because we will still be in one piece. We are doing our best to take off. And by, I say by our best because I will still be thinking about the shop 20%. But the shop will be closed. We will not be filming. And From, online orders will not be packed up and shipped out between Christmas and at least New Year's. So it's the 25th through, through January 1st. And then January 1st. Falls on a Friday. See, like that part I knew. So I lost track of Christmas. January 1st, the post office is going to be closed anyway. anyway. So it wouldn't be until at least the 4th. And depending on like, we might. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we might wait until the 5th. We're going to take our normal hours. So which means that the shop, the next time the shop will be open after the 24th, after Christmas Eve, is going to be the 5th of January. That is a good weekend. We, we will. We oh will, my gosh, I'm going to lose my mind. But hopefully we will I'm close the doors at five o'clock on Christmas Eve. If you show up after five o'clock, no, we're on bake. Yes. Um. And and the next time we will be in physically in the shop. Ten o'clock on the fifth. We'll be ten o'clock on the fifth. Yes. And we'll leave. We'll we'll make messages on our doors and wish everyone well. And and I'll take whatever mail I get for this. But we really haven't taken serious time off. I've tried to give myself weekends off because people are like, well, you're not here on the weekend, so you must be getting rest then, right? Anyone who knows small business stuff, even, even in olden days, even in pre-pandemic times, days when you're not in the shop as a small business owner, you are still doing work for the shop to keep it running. And we, we joke that I open the door and put away yarn and like I do the physical stuff in the shop She's on the computer do. the entire time, yeah. trying to put stuff up online, trying to take pictures, trying, you know. Trying to get inventory into the system. Inventory. And we still have we get scratch the surface. I'm boxes that show up and I'm like, here. And I <laughs> hand her the paperwork and I start putting away yarn and mm. it's a never ending cycle. Like she. And now how, yeah. oh, thank you. <laughs> She's like, it's um, busy. Yeah. And so some of that I have to do on the weekends and um 
And there's lots of other stuff I can't get done while I'm here. And now there's more stuff it's harder for us to get done while we're here because of trying to help people shop, which is kind of most of the reason we're here. I say half the reason. It's the reason we're here is to help people shop and get what they want. But there's so much other stuff that has to happen behind the scenes for that to work. And um, and the so online, like we, we always said doing an online would require hiring a completely separate set of people to do online. And we don't have that. So and then there's a pandemic me. and <laughs> it's um yeah. So so I've attempted for a couple or three months or so now, and we didn't do it in December to take like a weekend off just so we don't die. And um so this is the first real vacation break what have you that we've taken since this craziness started yeah and usually in in olden days after christmas i would go out to see family and leave liz to run the shop for me and try to take a break but i'm still actually working on the computer at my sister's house i, I would i would be on the phone <laughs> texting or calling going hey this happened i yeah. need help and, and or this came in you have the computer with you and in coven times um, we, we can't leave only one person here that, that the shop, no, that, that is, that is, um, unfair to the one person who's left here. <laughs> well, so the, the, in, in, just shutting down. in, in olden times, even though I had the shop and you were on vacation, not vacationing most of the time, because I was like, Hey, um, and I was like, Hey, how's I, it going? What can I do? I also had mignonettes that, yes. that would come and even if they just sat in the shop so I could go to the bathroom, mm -hmm. like, you know, and somebody we, and, would and, answer the phone. And no or, offense to our yeah. mignonettes, but we can't do that now because germs and, and just, we got to keep people down, contact down, social distancing down. So, or up or whatever. It's so, a whole different bubble having mignonettes in. We're trying not to make our bubbles bigger. So anyway, um, it's after six. We should go home. So here's an extra long goodie for you. Whenever we do it after the, the, the day's over and we have no deadline of, oh, we have to open the shop. Things tend to go really long, but that's okay. So we love you all. And we miss you. And we hope you enjoyed the camelid show today. <laughs> we, um, we, we have a couple other camelids, but. Oh yeah. This isn't all that we have in the shop. But we just happened to pick two that yarns that are fun that we hadn't gotten enough online yet that are 100% um, alpaca and llama. We have other stuff that's 100% as well. But this is enough for today. Fun. It took me all day to take photos and edit them and and I had to sticker it. and toss yarn in boxes and then put it away. And <laughs> actually, it was we were busy. No cut, very few customers, but oh my gosh, we were busy. So we're going to go home and rest and we will see y'all tomorrow. I will get this. I'm going to put this video up when I get home. So hopefully it won't take too long to get up, but I'm imagining it's not going to be up till at least seven or so, but we'll try to, cause I've got to export it from iMovie and then upload it to YouTube. It's like, it's so long. and then occasionally it goes, uh, -uh. occasionally it's like, nope, failed. Mm. That's, that's the computer goes. Mm. So um, stay safe. Keep your bubble small. <laughs> if you haven't already, please um, subscribe because we, we've told you it's going to take some hard work to get to 500 subscribers, I think. But if we can get there, we'll have a sale. And um, and it just it keeps our numbers growing. It's great. So at least give us a thumbs up if you like this. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please share it with some friends who might get a kick out of watching us do our thing. And yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, bye. It's totally dark outside right now. <laughs> like everybody's lights are on. Yeah, we're seeing sparkly lights. And, and, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I think we're done. We're done. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm tripping over baskets. Yes. <laughs>